Update, WIBTAH if I fired a kid because his mom is harassing me? Link to previous post. I know it didn't get that much traction, but here we go. I took the advice and consulted with HR on this as well. So, sad update. He got fired. We took the time and HR spoke to him about his conduct and performance. He admitted to slacking and promised to keep his mom under control. She quickly deleted all the messages on Facebook she sent to me to remove a trace thereof but the emails remain. He promised to keep everything up to standard and work as hard as possible. The focus was on his quality of work, his mother was mentioned but just as an afterthought of appropriate work conduct. He then proceeded to amaze us for a total of five days before going back into his old habits again and being completely useless and even aggressive towards other team members making slight mistakes. He even charged X for the amount of time for a quarter of the quality of work the other team members produce. So his two-week probation ended after nine days. I hope his mom never does this again, but all in all, his work ethic is what got him fired in the end. You did the right thing. I would have been way less accommodating than you were. You were never the asshole. Someone who needed to be told more than once to arrive on time, who needed to be told more than once to notify you if they will be late, and who needed to be told more than once not to commit wage fraud got far more forbearance than he deserved. His rabid harpy of a mother was just the special sauce on the shit sandwich. He got a final chance and blew it. Definitely don't feel guilty. But even a great employee with a mother like that would have been a liability to you and your clients. It's sad, but employers have to respond when helicopter or abusive parents extend their unacceptable behavior to the kid's employer. They've cost many a kid a job. Your safety and everyone's confidentiality comes first. If the kid is smart, you taught him a valuable life lesson. I mean, this is a good thing in the long run. Maybe he can find a job that works for him. Op, what was the mom's reaction to his firing? I know you said you blocked her from communicating with you, but did she freak out? Sad? He deserved it. He was not being a good worker and you gave him so many chances. This is his fault not yours. Not the asshole. Claiming you worked more than you did is wage theft. I'd have fired him the first time he did that. The other things are secondary. In any other work scenario I would guarantee he would be fired for just one of the infractions instantly. Allowing a non-authorized person to use his credentials. Share login and password, equals gone. Mum is a helicopter, mum who is ruining her son's chance of maturing, improving by constantly monitoring. Hope the guy realizes this and gets the help and support he needs. This is not an excuse for him to be crap at work. It's the reason he is. Coming in late and charging for the time is theft. As a kid, I did that and was fired. While I was angry, I wasn't angry at the company, I was angry at myself. It was an eye-opener. I have grown from that experience, I sure hope this kid does too. And hash x200b. Not the asshole. Hopefully this is a teachable moment for this kid. The real world is a cold and unforgiving place and our parents cannot bail us out, especially when it comes to work. Not the asshole. I don't believe the mom was the primary reason anyways. Like you said in that last sentence, dot his work ethic is what got him fired in the end. Honestly, if his mother has to be on his ass to get his work done then he seriously has some growing up to do. Maybe he'll grow up, maybe he won't, but what his mother was doing isn't helping him. Mischarging time would get me fired in a heartbeat and I've been at my job 20 years with great performance reviews. Oh man, that sucks even worse. It wasn't that he was incapable of meeting expectations, it was that he just DGAF. The work you're doing is wonderful, op. Sounds like you did the right thing by the company. But I really wonder whether the kid has problems at home. From the sound of it, he probably does. I'm getting serious mental, emotional abuse vibes from the way this kid's behavior sounds. Is there someone, a charity nearby who might be able to check in on him and make sure he's okay? You did the right thing I think. I feel for the kid because I was raised by a similar parent and it was a struggle. I hope he finds a place where he can thrive and be as amazing as he was for those five days without mommy dearest constantly screaming at him and being all up in his business, literally and figuratively. The inflated billing alone was grounds for termination.
I'm kinda astonished he tried that again. Hopefully this was a learning experience for him and he'll at least have learned that false billing records are a huge no-no. Sadly, I could see him working for shady companies where this is standard practice. Honestly when you said that she somehow got access to the internal systems I would have probably fired him on the spot. The only way she would have accessed that is from him not being diligent she couldn't access. Huge security breach not to be taken lightly even if family. And the timesheet fraud was just the tip of the iceberg on that shitstorm. Once I wrote on an employee evaluation, produces adequate work when watched constantly. Sounds like this kid. I feel bad for him. His mom sounds abusive as hell. There's no doubt he was acting like that because of problems at home, plus how he was raised doesn't help. I wish you'd be able to tell his mom she's an awful parent. I hope this kid is okay. Low work performance is pretty normal when you're experiencing abuse and all these aspects of behavior mentioned sound exactly like how I acted at that age, before I moved out and ceased contact with my mother. I feel bad for this kid, but you are doing great work giving kids the opportunity to learn leadership skills. My son wanted to work at the age of 15. I signed a work permit for him and verified permission with the employer. He worked as a nursing home assistant. He stayed there throughout high school and I never contacted his boss or the facility. I was confident that at 15 he already understood taking responsibility for his own work, because I had taught him that through my own example and treating him like a human being with his own agency. He did great and has become a very successful adult. I'm super proud of his accomplishments, but those are the product of his hard work and ethics. I just gave him guidance and trust. Does he live with her? Because he should go NC ASAP. She seems to be ruining his career. By the way I just watched a movie, Justin Long, Jonah Hill. Is it true students can teach students? Yeah, he went full throttle for five days, burnt out, then flipped to being resentful because it's easier than acknowledging he couldn't do it. You can't fix work ethic and establish good work skills in a week, and it's next to impossible to do on your own. Next time, put them on a PIP personal improvement plan earlier, with reasonable, incremental goals and support. A good reminder that messages on social media don't qualify as documentation. In your initial post, you commented. I could write a book with all the documenting I have on her. Which contrasts with. She quickly deleted all the messaged on Facebook she sent to me to remove a trace thereof. Most social media and messaging services have ways to download messages, comments, and other information, though they're hidden due to not wanting to encourage people to decrease their reliance on them. But a web search should show you how. Maybe include 2020 or 2021 in the search since sites change them around all the time, which may or may not be related to the point about hiding how to get your information from them. I feel like his mom is probably the reason WHE he's the way it is because of the pressure she's putting on him. Poor guy. You were definitely not the asshole. But IDK dude, if I'd see myself in a case like this I'd probably urge myself to make it a so-called turnaround case. And start to work on this kid just a little bit more. After all he's so inexperienced in life and his mom for sure hasn't taught this boy shit in his life. It's easy to go back to usual behavior. These things require patience and a lot of guidance to keep him in good place. Although I know patience and time are two things that most places can't give you. Anyway. Unfortunately slackers usually don't change their ways overnight. I'm surprised you gave him so many chances. He would have been fired from most places much sooner, even without taking his mother's actions into account. TBH, with a mom like that, it's no wonder that he's turned out this way. Hopefully, he'll see how toxic her behavior is and work to better himself so he can escape it. You were absolutely right to fire him. Sounds like he struggled to develop a work ethic, which is pretty normal for a lot of teens, and his mom calling places and bullying managers may have happened before without as many consequences so he didn't really get hit with the end result. Hopefully she backs off or he gets a job that can help him develop on his own. Either way you gave him lots of chances and covered your butt about it so now you can give your other employees the focus. I went ahead and read your first post, and I am really shocked at the number of chances he was given. 
Improvement is great, but the fact that his mother has access to systems means that he has no boundaries where she is concerned. You can pretty much deduce that he would not stop at sharing confidential information with her about students, as well. The second I learned that she had access to the system, I would have fired him. And honestly, I would have done it long before that, because his tardiness, irresponsibility, and unreliability is just not acceptable. So she had access to our systems anyway, which is already an issue. But don't leave us hanging. Dot did the mom show up to tell that her baby was fired. After you mentioned the time theft I would have just let him go. Everything else was just icing on the cake. Even aggressive towards other team members making slight mistakes. Oof. I can feel the entitlement from here. How dare they write me up when they're all shitty employees too. Not the asshole you did a good job. You were honest with him and after that it was up to him to come through. He didn't and that's on him, not his mom, not you. He's going to have to learn to defy his mother and become his own, better person if he's going to get better, but he can learn that somewhere else. His work ethic could be a side effect of all of the browbeating he gets from his overbearing mother. I have a family member who was overbearing to her kids and her sons were underachievers in their teens and early 20s. The older son has carved out some sort of decent, honest living by 30, at least. Anyway, not your circus, not your monkeys. We also once had a crazy mom. Demanded to know why nobody told her we gave her son a company car, he was 24. Saying he was working too hard, after one time working late. We were scamming her son by making him pay for damages he caused to the company car, he bumped again a wall, as per her logic it is our car so the company should pay the damages. We were also complaining too much about his work, this guy kept on using the wrong year on his docum MTS, the nom was like, who cares you know what year it is right? Yes lady, that's the point he should know too. It's damn August he had 8 months to get used to the new year. What a waste of time and energy to talk to her. Not the asshole. I have always wondered why people slack off at work. It just makes the day go by slower. When it busy, it's like bang, it's already Miller time. I think you did the right thing. I can't help but worry about this kid, though. No wonder he has some issues, who wouldn't with a helicopter parent like that? I wonder if showing up late and slacking is how he copes with feeling suffocated by his mother's overbearing and intrusive parenting. Not the asshole at all. Unfortunately, and this kid is gonna have to learn this the hard way, his mother is a security risk. Regardless of whether or not there was any real damage to be done, his mother was abusing the system. I feel bad for the kid, and I feel like the entire situation isn't entirely his own fault, but that's a family issue that needs handling in-house and he's gonna have to go through that. You're there to run AA business, run a program designed to turn people into leaders, specifically kids with less, who have less opportunities. You're not there to babysit. While I sympathize with this kid, you did the right thing. That sucks that he didn't realize what a great thing he had there. It's hard for young people to find good jobs right now. My own son has been searching for well over a year with zero nibbles. And I never understand parents like that. Seriously WTH does she think she's accomplishing there? You, of course, are not the asshole. To be honest he should have been fired on the spot. He actually got a second chance that he did not deserve and still screwed that up. You never were the asshole at all. You know he's young so I'm sure he's fine thanks to his family but it may turn into a good growing experience for him and his mom. Maybe she'll see being a helicopter isn't helpful. Not the asshole. If he still needs his mom to scream at him and wrangle his work affairs, he's not mature enough to perform the duties of self-motivation that this kind of work requires. He needs to grow up and being fired might be the wake-up call he and his mother bit need. You did the right thing. Sounds like he didn't want to put in any real effort. So time fraud is a serious matter and one that is significantly under-addressed. Some retail companies, high loss from shoplifting, have even more loss from time theft. In other words employees doing things like clocking in and out for other employees, clocking in and leaving etc. The number that I have heard in my professional life, payroll accounting, was that over one third of all shortage a company experiences is from time fraud. It's no joke. 
I would have given a strong warning after the first infraction and fired after the second. It is fraud and companies have even pressed charges against big offenders. Thanks for the update, mom sounds like a nightmare to live with. That kid has nowhere to go but up once he moves out. Ultimately, the kid got himself fired. Mom needs therapy though. She's actively fucking up her kid's life chances.